If you're into junk journaling, then you probably also collect doilies. <laughs> Whether they are crocheted or made out of paper, they are fun to use in journals. So let's have some fun with these. Welcome to another junk journal snacks episode. It's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So I chose a few here that would fit size-wise into my journal. Some of these I think are actually going to be too thick for what I have in mind. You could use all sorts of shape. They don't have to be round. So here I have this cute triangle. I think the thinner, the better. I have a paper doily here. I have this beautiful, very dainty one here. And of course there's different colors. I have some here with beautiful embroidery thread. Of course you can just glue these onto your pages. They would make beautiful page additions. But for what I want to do, I want my doilies to be double sided. So I want them to also look beautiful from the back side. So I want to start off with this beauty here and find a page onto which that will fit. This is, as usual, Honey's beautiful journal. Her Instagram is linked below and no, she does not sell her journals. <laughs> I have to keep mentioning that. So I don't have that many pages in this journal where my idea will work because I need a page where I have the front and the back available. This one actually would be cute. Is it big enough? Not really. I would need a little bit more of a border than what I have here. I mean, this would be pretty just glued on like that as well, right? You could always do that. So let's find a page that's a little bigger. Not so easy anymore in this journal. There's a pocket here, so that's not going to work. This one again doesn't really have a lot of space on the top and bottom, so I don't think that one will work well. This one maybe. Although here it kind of disappears. No, I'll leave that one for another one. For example, maybe this one could work here. Or even the paper doily. I know you don't know what I'm going to do, so you can't really help me at the moment. <laughs> you will see, it's very easy actually what I'm going to do, but I think it will look super cute. This one again, I'm afraid won't be, oh, actually, this one here actually might work. Or this one. I think I'll add it to this page. So I'm going to take a pencil and trace the shape of my doily. And then I'm going to draw another line at approximately one centimeter inside of that shape. Then I'll erase the outer line. And then I'll take a pair of scissors and cut out this oval shape. Of course, this is much easier to do if you don't have your pages sewed into your journal yet. <laughs> but we'll manage. This looks like a coconut, doesn't it? <laughs> and if we did it right, this will fit over here nicely. Yes. And of course, we will also be able to see it from the back side. And now the most difficult part is we need to decide what glue to use. I think if I use a regular craft glue, it's going to really warp the edge. Let's put some baking paper underneath. And then I'm going to try this with my Liquitex matte gel because I know this won't warp my paper and I can just apply it with a brush. Another option I think that should work is your Beacon 3-in-1 glue or in Europe, your Kolal glue. I would give that a try. And I just got this dirty, no. I can't believe there's some wet paint here. 
I used this paper last night. It's been like 10 hours. Wow. We'll just go with it. It is what it is. So I'll take a small brush and just go along the edge. And since this is matte, it doesn't really matter if I go outside of the one centimeter because we won't see it. If you are using a glossy one, then please be more mindful of that because you will see the gloss then. And now we just place our doily on top. And since this material is so thin, I might as well go ahead and add some more on top to make sure that it sticks well. And once that is dried, we have this beautiful page here now with this doily integrated. I love it. On the back side, as you can see, I have some color here which of course came from this paper. I don't mind actually, I think it looks kind of nice, but if you want yours to be completely clean, then obviously use some clean baking paper and not something like this. This is alcohol ink, by the way. I love the rusty color. And this is Distress Oxide. I think it looks really cool from both sides. I love how we can see the other page through it. And it looks very different from both sides because of course the color here is so strong and here it looks a lot more dainty. So let's see what a triangular one like this might look like on a page. So I, want, I don't want the page right next to this one. So I'm going to try to find another page. Again, I need one where there isn't a pocket or anything on the back. This one here could be an option either on the bottom or on the top. Of course, it doesn't have to be a thin paper like this, but I happen to have a few in here. Mm -hmm. How about on a regular copy paper, which is coffee dyed? That could look interesting as well. Let's do that. So same method, I'm going to trace my triangle. So here I see I don't have a full centimeter to glue on. So I'll make my inside line a bit closer than I did before, maybe half a centimeter. Then again, I'll erase the outer line and cut out our shape. Let's try it. Yeah, that should work really well. And this time I'm actually going to try it with my Colal glue. So I'll put the glue all around the edge. So if you don't like the color of your doily, obviously you could paint it first or spray it with something. You could use watercolors, distress inks, whatever you have. And then I can take a cloth and gently wipe away any excess. And it looks beautiful from both sides. I love it. Next, I want to try this one here. Again, this has beautiful stitching from both sides, even though one side, I think it's this side, yeah, is like the back side. But a lot of times the back sides are as beautiful as the front almost. <laughs> so I want to go back here. I saw a page that I think this would work well on. This one right here, because it's big enough. I think that will look cute. Of course, we won't be able to see through this, but I still think it's a beautiful addition to a journal. And we're doing exactly the same thing. This is so quick and easy and adds so much. So now I'm thinking about where I'm going to put my glue. And I think I'll put it like right here on the border. So I'll make that line accordingly inside my other circle. Erase the outer line, 
cut out the circle. I've learned the best way to cut out circles is to first cut these pie shapes from the middle to the edge of your circle. And then we can just cut around the circle. Even just cutting out shapes like circles or ovals or triangles in a page make the page very interesting, doesn't it? Again, I'll use my Kolal glue for this. We'll see if it warps this very thin paper or not. But I think my matte medium is not strong enough. You would need like a heavy gel. And I only have the glossy version. I should have put a paper underneath. Oh well. <laughs> Definitely put a paper underneath. Just in case the glue seeps out. While the glue is still wet, I want to make sure that it's even on all sides and I can see that better from the back side. I think this will do. How cute! And then I want to add some of this color that we have here to the outside as well. So this time I am going to protect <laughs> the rest of the book. And I also want to cover this because I don't want to get anything on the doily itself. I'll take a scrap piece of paper and try to cut like a round shape. All covered. Then I have this watercolor. And I'll take a splatter brush. This is actually too thick. This is quite old, so let's add some water. Yeah, I think that's better. And we'll just add some splatters around the page. Let's see how that will look in combination. Oh, I think that's super cute. Should we also do some blue maybe? Yeah. I have this very intense powder here that I've actually never used. So let's try that. I think that was, it's not something I bought. I'm kind of scared of these. <laughs> Let's take a tiny bit out. Add some water. Wow, this is super intense. I'm assuming this will bleed through the page, which is perfect. I do want it on both sides. So again, let's add our paper. I did dry these in the meantime. Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, stop. <laughs> what do we think? I love it. So let's try it and see if it came through to the other side. So it's dry. I think it looks absolutely adorable. Let's check the back side. And no, it didn't really come through, even though the paper is super thin. Oh, but I also wanted to check, look, there's no warping whatsoever from the Kolal glue. So that's something to note. But what I do see is that where I see the glue through the holes here, I see that it is shiny. So be aware of that. So I'm also going to add some splatters on this side because I think they just look really cute. Definitely not a color combination I would usually work with. I don't use a lot of these kinds of blues, but in this case, I love it. So it's all dry and I think it's so cute. I know I've said that a few times, but I am in love. <laughs> what a fun way to use these. Last but not least, let's add our paper doily. So let's first find a page. I think this one would be cute, but this is of course quite plain. So let's do something with that before we actually add it to our page. 
One thing that's very easy to add is, of course, some stenciling. Given that we have a round shape, it would probably make sense, but obviously you can use anything to use a round shape from a stencil. I think any of these would make it look very interesting. That's of course another thing you could do if you don't have any doilies, you could just take a piece of paper and use your stencil either by just using one of these makeup brushes or spraying through it or using a sponge, however you like to do your stenciling and then just cut around the shape and maybe do it on both sides of your paper and then you could do the same thing I just did. Lots of possibilities. But the stencil that I really like for this is this one here. By coincidence, it has the perfect size here of this circle. I will link this stencil for you below. This is what it looks like. And since I only want that middle part, I don't want any of this here on the outside, I'm just going to take some masking tape, make sure it's not too sticky, and just cover up all of those edges. And to help me determine what color would work best with this here, I can take these swatch cards that I made following Louisa Heinzel's tutorial on swatches. I will link her series below. Check it out if you haven't already. It is life-changing. <laughs> so which color do I want? I think I want something soft. No. Afraid burlap. That one would be very harmonious. Is it too harmonious? Maybe. What about vintage? Ooh, I like a vintage photo. Oh, what about walnut stain? Oh, that would also be beautiful. Maybe this is too brown. This doesn't actually stand out enough. I'm loving the walnut stain. Or what about the ground espresso? That would also be gorgeous. Yep, I like that even better. Ground espresso it is. So hopefully this will come off now without tearing. Looking good. Perfect. And since I can sort of see it through onto the other side, I think I'll do the exact same one, but reversed so that we have exactly the same on both sides because otherwise it might look weird since we do see it through a little bit. But what we could do is switch up the color. How about a nice teal, like an evergreen bow? Mm. Or, ooh, I'm loving that. Let's take the cracked pistachio. There we go. Oh, I just see I tore a little bit here, but hopefully that will still be okay. So same procedure as before, tracing my doily. And I'll think about the gluing. Since I have this torn here, I need to go in to about here. So that's again, approximately a centimeter. Erase the outer line and cut our circle. This time I am remembering to put a paper underneath and I'm going to use my gel mat on the edges. Try to center this and I'll add another layer on top. These are of course a lot easier to adhere than the crocheted ones. It's kind of crooked, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's check the back. Yep. Also crooked, <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> so there you have four options of adding doilies 
to your pages. That was number one. Number two was our triangle, which I find so cool. Might love this one the most. I don't know. I think I love them all. <laughs> number three was this fun one, which is not see-through, but still very cute. And finally, we have number four, which was our paper doily. Just as fun. I'm sure you could come up with lots of more options. Experiment and have fun in your journal. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.